Hi, Mr. Sapone here, and today we're going to look at solving some pressure problems. Uh, recall that pressure equals force divided by area. And as I do with all formulas, usually I'll make you solve for pressure, make you solve for force, make you solve for area. So sometimes you have to rearrange this uh, very quickly. If we wanted to solve for force, we'd have to get rid of the area. So we'd have to multiply this side by area. If we multiply this side of an equation by area. We also have to do the same thing to the other side of an area, uh, the equation. And these, of course, cancel. So force equals area times pressure. And we pressure is force over area. Force equals area times pressure. And if we wanted to solve this for area, if we wanted to get A all by itself, force equals area times pressure. If you want to get A all alone, you've got to get rid of the P. So divide by P, divide by P. And those cancel. Area equals force over pressure. So those are three uh, formulas we're using for these. You could also alternatively draw a circle, um, FAP. I'd prefer you to algebraically manipulate it, but if you're in a jam on a test, uh, generally you cover the one you don't want. So if you, what is area? Well, area equals force divided by pressure. And what would force be? If you cover this one, force, the only thing left is area times pressure. And if you covered pressure, even though we can't see it now, it would be force over area. So just remember your circle if you need to. You cover the one you're solving for. Whatever's left is the formula, or you just kind of manipulate it from there. So we have four questions. We're going to go through these and do them. There's one where we solve for pressure, one we solve for force, one we solve for area, and one we do a two-part. Uh, so you get a little bit of everything in this slide. So we have a force of 15 newtons. It's being applied over a surface area of 0 0.6 meters squared. What is the pressure? So the problem is asking us to calculate pressure. First thing you want to do is, what does the problem want me to do? Well, they want to know pressure. And I know that pressure equals force over area. And this problem is really simple. It says a force of 15 newtons. OK. 15 newtons is applied over an area of oh a surface area a yep that makes more sense a surface area of 0 0.6 meters squared so the area is 0 0.6 meters squared we just divide 15 divided by 0 0.6 and that's going to equal 25 newtons per meter squared or you could write that as pa because a pascal is a newton per meter squared both are acceptable units for pressure so pressure, force divided by area, just plug and chug. Uh, so another one, uh, we have a 20 pound box with a length of 10 inches and a width of five inches. It's resting on the floor. How much pressure does it exert on the floor? So they gave us a lot of numbers, but ultimately they're asking for pressure. Pressure equals force over area. Uh, do we know force in this? Well, weight is a measure of force. So either pounds or newtons are always gonna be a measure of force. In this case, the force is 20 pounds. And what's the area of the box? Well, we don't know the area, but they tell us the box has a length of 10 inches and a width of 5 inches. And if you remember, area of a rectangle equals length times width. So the area of this box is going to be 10 times 5, or 50 inches squared. And quick math, this reduces to 2 over 5, or 0 0.4 pounds per inch squared. Or you could write this as PSI. That's a pound, pound, that's an LB, by the way, not a 16, per inch squared, square inch, pound per square inch. So 0.4 pounds per inch squared. So that's another pressure example. Um, last one we're going to calculate is an area. I think I deleted the force problem by mistake. So, and again, force is just going to be area times pressure, so that's not too bad. But a box has a weight of 20 pounds and exerts a pressure of 0 0.5 PSI. Recall that PSI is pound per square inch. What is its area? So they're asking me to solve for area. We know pressure equals force over area. We know if we do some rearranging and manipulating this formula, that area equals force over pressure. And in this case, the box has a weight of 20 pounds. So the force equals 20 pounds, LBS. 
and it has a pressure of 0.5 pounds per inch square. So pressure is 0 0.5 pounds per inch squared. If you're good with your fractions, you know that these pounds cancel and you're ended up with inches in the top. But other than that, just remember area has to be in inches squared. 20 divided by 0.5 will equal 40 inches squared. So that's all you do when solving pressure problems. I mean, really just what are, what is the problem asking for? It's really what you need to do in every problem. What is the problem asking for? What do I know? Read the problem and list what you know if you're stuck. And what formula do you use? and start plugging things in. So if you have a systematic approach to these problems, read the problem, what is it asking for? Well, this one says area. Okay, this wants me to solve for an area. So I know the formula, the formula for area is right here. I'll write that formula down. I just need to figure out what force and pressure are. I read the problem, uh, there's a force, there's a pressure. So it's really just an issue of step by step, think about what the question's asking you first, what are you solving for? And if you do that, these problems shouldn't be too bad. This is Mrs. Pong, Melt.